Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel where today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make your tactical shooter experience that much better. Stay tuned, hit that like button, smash the subscribe and let's get stuck into this. So guys, are you a tactical shooter fan? Are you one of those gamers that just loves playing games like Ready or Not, Zero Hour, Six Days in Fallujah or even like Mill Sims like Squad? It this is game changing it is literally just bam like mind blowing this mod that i'm about to show you is called the tac speak mod by nexus mods and i just want to show you guys as quickly as easily and as smoothly as possible so you guys can get started with voice command in ready or not now this is after the 1.0 update this is the latest update of ready or not and um Everything you need is going to be in the description of this video. So let's get stuck in and get straight into the good stuff. So the links for both of these tabs are down below this video. So definitely check that out and follow at your own pace. Um, so TagSpeak is through Nexus Mods. So it's ne nexusmods.com forward slash ready or not slash mods. Um, you're not going to need to remember that because the link's right below. Just click on it and it will bring you straight to this page, which is the Tax Speech Speak Recognition for Gaming mod. And um, it's very straightforward. There is one requirement. So if you scroll down, go on requirements, Microsoft Visual C++. So you're going to click on that. I've already got it uh, downloaded. Uh, we're going to show you what it looks like when you have it downloaded. It's going to come up here, and it's going to come up with this. Now, I've got it installed, so it doesn't say install, but if you haven't got it already, it will say install, whereas mine's repair or uninstall. We're going to get rid of that quickly because we've got it already. Once that's installed, it will ask you to restart your PC. Just a heads up. Then after you've got that done, you're going to come over to files. You can see there's two things in there. This is the only other tab you're going to have to do on this page. So you're going to have to download both the TaxFeed file and the pre-trained model. Now the model is literally everything rammed into this one file. Um, hence a little larger size but they do both download fairly quickly you have to download tag speak download pre-trained they'll both download into zip files um i recommend having some sort of folder where you can uh, obviously exchange these into which i have right here now i've got it on my d drive so on my hard drive and i've named it tag speak downloads just to keep it very very clear as to what's in that folder and easy to find in a future find like search and in, in the search bar sort of thing um it'll download all of these once you drag it from your zip file into this and it'll bring you everything you need it's very straightforward down to the point i'll show you guys that in a minute but before we do that we're gonna move that off here and we are going to come over to github obviously the github link is below this video also it's going to bring you over here the tax speak j webmeister tax speak github folder this is um, the guy who I learned this through. So all credit goes to him. Big shout out. Definitely recommend that you go over and subscribe to his channel if you want to learn more and experience some more mods in Ready or Not and other content. Um, with this, you're going to scroll down, you're going to pass the introduction. You're going to go all the way down past requirements, down to the basic install package, executable. Um, obviously, you would have downloaded this already. Go straight here. Click on latest release. At this time, latest release is 0.1.5. And it's going to bring you down here. Now, you're going to have to download the attack speak zip. Obviously, also this. Once you download both of these, then they will also go into that file. I go straight across then this is where we have to go into that file. We're going to bring this on. You're going to go into the TaxSpeak file. You're going to go onto the user settings. And it's going to bring this. Obviously, your computer might bring something different up, but I do recommend using this software, which I will also put a link in the description for you. That'll give you a little bit of hand if your computer doesn't already have code reader on there. So this is literally the keybinds, and this is how you're going to use your in-game voice commands. <clears throat> so going down here to level four, which is the listen key, obviously it is set on my computer as 0 0.05, which 
which is my X1 mouse button, which is my thumb mouse button. It's a side button on my mouse. Uh, if you want to change that, just change this white text here to 10 for the shift key uh, or whatever one you want to see. You can also use this link to help you learn what um, keys are what in code. Um, then we're going to go down to the level five, one below it, listen key toggle. And that at the moment is set for me as two. But for you, it should or may in the latest update be set to minus one. I've now changed it to two because that is going to change how the toggle works in Ready or Not inside the game. So if you have it as zero times ten, which is the default, so that's the shift key, I will teach you from that. But whenever I say zero times ten or zero times five, if I say zero times ten, it is whatever you set it as. So set it to your own preference. In my terms, it's zero times five, but I'm going to say it as shift for you guys, okay? So just translate. When I say shift, it could be whatever key you want to set it as. So here, I've set it to two. That means it's always going to be on. So I press zero times ten. So my shift key, I can tap it once and it will stay on the whole time until I tap it again. So I could turn it off and on just by tapping it, not holding it. If that was set as minus one here where I've highlighted just here, if that was set as minus one, you would have to hold the shift key or hold your mouse button. So you'd have to hold, talk, let go. And then when you talk, say, I want you to go over here or I want you to go over there, breach, blah, blah, blah. It's not going to hear you unless you're holding it. That's why I've set mine to two, because then I can just press it, talk. They do whatever I want for as long as I want them to. So I could talk the whole way through a raid without having to hold that button, which leaves my hands free to use everything else and focus on the mission. If you set that as minus one, you would have to hold it, talk, blah, blah, blah. Uh, and I just find it much easier to have it on two, so I can just do it. And I can just turn it off whenever I want. You're also going to be able to know if it's on, so you can't get confused. You can just say stuff in the game, you say, the rack, you know, oh yeah, it's off. Press it, done, on. So that is the only option I mess around with in there. Um, remember to save it via the file and save as well. By the way, <clears throat> while we're in here, we're going to go into grammar, underscore ready or not, the PY file. And it's going to bring us into a whole, whole new ball game of coding. And we are going to go down here. Um, this is where you can change the phrases. So if you want to say... If you want to turn gold team into pink team or blue team into iron, then you could change it in here. You'd just find it on here. You'd change gold. And underneath, you'd add a new line and you'd say iron and then whatever you want to be. So if I wanted gold to now be called bronze, I can then say put bronze in brackets under here. So instead of that, under the line, so you keep this, you do another line under it. So go here, press enter, and then write bronze colon and then gold because then it's now telling the game okay if i say bronze i mean gold uh, and vice versa you can change all these as well to do the same things with wedge so if you want to block a door or lock it i um wedge is what i use i just use wedge i use all the basic ones in here so i haven't changed anything um you could change it to whatever phrase you want so if you are a fan of all these american hollywood movies or um 911 or Chicago PD or something, and you hear a phrase like in there, and you're like, I want to be able to say that. Go ahead and change it. That is up to you. But I haven't, as I said, messed around with anything in there. Now, you're going to come back, and to run it, you're going to want to go down here to the TaxSpeak application. So I'm now going to open this for you guys, so you're going to see how it works. And there you go. Now, you can see the engine's running. It's listening. Engine, cold mic, cold meat. Cold mic, cold meek, cold mic means it is not on. Okay, your thing is not on. You'd have to press the button and then it'd have to. See, it's picking up that I'm talking, but they won't hear it in game. Um, it will say it will say hot mic in here. So I always recommend having this open in game. I put it to the side over here just on my next window, and then I can see what commands my computer is reading or given when I'm talking, and I can also see if it's on or off. Obviously, I've set it as two in the file, so it will always be on if I've pressed it once. So let's jump into the game, guys. Leave this open whenever you want to play with it, okay? So if it's closed, it will not work. So we're going to close this. We're going to move this over here. 
going to minimize this and we are straight back in to the game. Now, I'm going to skip this for you guys, but we're going to jump straight in to one of the missions and I'm going to show you a few examples. Right, guys, so I've got my four squad mates here. They're all AI and um, we're going to get them to do some stuff. Now, I'm only going to show you the basic stuff. Um, we're on the first mission of Ready or Not, but we're going to turn this on. We're not going to use the menu and they're going to hopefully listen. Red team, move here. There. On the move. Blue team, move here. Over there. I'm going. Gold team, fall in. All stay on me. Keep going. And it's on, guys, okay? So I'm going to tell them to move here. I'm going to prove I'm not pressing keybinds. So, gold team, move here. There, move. Heading... move there. Go team, fall in. Go team, stack up mirror. Toward the door. Ready. Hit clock. Hit the lock. Got the lock. So it's a big learning curve. A massive learning curve, by the way, guys, of finding what commands work and what words you could trip over. So if you want it on toggle, I recommend toggle. Um, if you're like me, just remember to turn the button off. And when you shout things, guys, it will work like this. Police. Freeze. So commands like that, police and freeze, will work in-game as well. So you don't have to press F to interact. Split stack. Reach and clear. So obviously while I'm talking to you guys, obviously I'm saying a lot more words than I usually would when I'm in game focusing. These guys are going to raid now. They're going to breach clear. I'm going to get them to search the room. Gold team, search room. They're now searching because I told them to search. I don't know if you heard that. Restrain. There you go. That one works. So guys, there you have it. That is the tax speak mod. As you can see, when I was doing some of those commands, it was tripping over a few words, I would say, while I was commentating to you guys. Um, to not have that problem, so to get around that problem, I'd recommend putting that setting, what we put to two, back to minus one, uh, or even one, just so you can toggle things uh, and make it a little bit less trippy, so people can't trip over what you're saying. Um, or if you're just a streamer like me or a content creator or you're recording stuff or you want to talk to other people around you uh, without ruining the gameplay, then um, just remember to turn it off uh, or turn it on. But obviously, always have this thing here on your screen. I have it like that on my second monitor, what you guys can't see. But everything other than that is all good to go. Obviously, all the links are down below for you guys. And if you enjoyed this video, smash that like button. Hit the subscribe. I'll see you guys very soon for our next upload. Thank you very much.